What is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a highly requested video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these Cole Bennett line effects for your music videos. Um, and there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show you guys how to do this, but not a lot show you exactly how Cole Bennett kind of weaves it together um, and gives it that kind of like Cole Bennett-like style. So I'm going to be doing this in After Effects, but if you guys are wondering, um, if you don't have After Effects or if you would like to hire me to do the editing for you, I'm showing you guys just some raw footage of somebody that hired me to do the editing for him. So check out the music video. Link will be in the description. Um, and this is just all the clips. And then the stuff you saw at the beginning was the editing I did for it. So anyways, what we're going to do now is we're just going to hop in the editor and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So what we're going to need is a raw clip. Okay. So now that I have so now that I have my raw clip right here that I want to place effects on, I'm also going to have After Effects. And if you guys want, you can go and click and open After Effects. Um, just leave that open. You don't have to do anything with it right now. But once you do that, you're just going to want to click on your clip. So once you do that, you're just going to want to click on your clip, and then you're going to want to right click it, and then you're going to want to click Replace with After Effects Composition. Okay guys, so once that works, um, you're going to see your After Effects blinking down here, and then what you're going to do is, is this pop-up menu is going to come up and just um, name whatever your file wants to be. So I'm just going to name this Cole Bennett Line Effects, and then click Save. And then it's going to take the composition and open it up in After Effects. Okay guys, so the key to be able to get this Line Effects stuff working is that you want to be working in a layer, not a composition. So if it says composition right here, then you're going to want to just double click this raw file until it says layer. So once it's in layer, you're completely fine. And then what you're going to and then what you're going to want to do is go up here to this little brush tool and then you're good to go. So now you can pick your color stuff, your paint, your brushes, your brush size right here. Um, if you make this bigger or smaller, you can change that. And then I'll go back to paint and I'm just going to keep this on white, but you can use any color you want. Um, I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger actually. So I'm going to keep it about 20 and what I'm going to do is just show you guys some basic things um, that you can do with this brush stuff. So I'm just going to start with an outline and I'm also going to give you guys a super useful tip that I didn't know when I first started out with this, but it completely helps you save time. And that's, and that's the key to doing this because it's very time consuming to make crazy animations. So you want to know all these shortcuts. So if you use page up and page down on your keyboard, you can actually move frame by frame. You'll see right here that's moving. And what you're going to want to do is just like page down, move over frame draw click page down move over frame and then just keep repeating that over and over and every single time you do that it's just gonna create a brush effect like this and then if you do that multiple times uh, you can come through and I'll show you what that looks like just by dragging it quickly but the more drawing the better the animation is gonna look um, if I was to keep it just like this it would be a very short animation because keep in mind that we are drawing frame by frame so I'm going to make the eyes glow as well, like that. I'm just going to make it sloppy. But if you guys are trying to work and make it super good, you can put more time into this. So I'm going to click File. So I'm going to click File, and then I'm going to click Save. Mine's already saved. And then once you do that, if you go back into Premiere, you'll see that your changes were already made. So I'm going to click Play. And now you can see that that little animation is. So you're going to have to draw it a lot of times just to get this to last a long time. Keep in mind that if you shoot at 24 frames per second, you're going to have to draw it 24 different animations just for one second of animation time. So if you guys don't really understand that, rewind it until it makes sense. But as, as you see right here, all of these drawings I did right there just amounts into this much of actual animation time. So it's a very quick little flash, but it looks pretty cool. It adds a very cool aesthetic. If you want to sit down and create something awesome, you can if you just put the oh, time I'm going to give it. you guys another super cool tip, which is not mentioned in any other of these little line tutorials that I've seen on YouTube. Uh, and this pertains exactly to Cole Bennett style. And I'm going to show you guys just this reference clip just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this right here, it happens pretty fast, but this is a common thing that Cole Bennett does, especially if someone's holding a blunt or something where they can come up and um, make this little invert color. So what he's doing here is he's just doing regular line effects, um, but he's changing the blending mode of the actual line effects to make this cool little inverted effect. And you see him do that a lot in a lot of his famous Dex videos. So I'm just going to go back into here and I'm going to show you guys exactly a cool kind of like inverted um, type thing. So what you can do is you can just keep it white and I'm just going to draw like this. It's just so it kind of outlines it. I'm going to click save. And now what you're going to want to do is if you see this little drop down arrow, click it right here and then go into effects, paint, and then you see every single thing for every single brush that you've if that so now you see every single um, little moment for every single brush that you've drawn so what you can do is just hold down shift and then select all the brushes that you want to change into this nice little invert look um, 
like that and then just come over here to the blending mode and then make this difference like this so now it's going to be a difference and you could really play around with that and find a crazy look so as you see whenever it comes over the red it's going to make it all blue like here if i was to make that a longer animation just by drawing more um, i could create this really really cool inverted thing just by changing the blending mode of the actual brush not a lot of people talk about that so make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe on this video if you want more videos like this make sure you go into the comments and request whatever you want to see but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching i'll see you guys later